Hi, I'm going to do the congruent angle or copy an angle construction. This one is a little bit more difficult. Uh, I don't know what that was. Okay. This one's a little bit more difficult, but it's really not that hard. You just need to follow the instructions. There's no vocabulary to go with this because you already know that congruent means the same. So again, all these directions on this paper are for you to read when I'm not here. So I'm going to skip past those and show you how to do the congruent angle construction. The first step, and I always forget to do this first, but you still need to do it first, is to draw the bottom ray of your new segment. I don't care if you put the arrow on the end. I will just because I should be technical, I guess. And then you're going to do pretty similar to the other one. You're going to put your spinner on the vertex of your, get your original angle. And you're going to make sure that your arc is going to cross both rays and draw an arc. Then you're going to go to your new angle and you're going to put the spinner on the what will be the vertex or the end point of the, the new segment. And you're going to draw the same arc. So I didn't change the radius at all that time. Then you're going to measure the angle, which is kind of weird. You're basically going from this point to this point and just opening the slider that wide. So you can put your spinner on either one and just make sure that that second point is in one of your slider holes like that. And then you're going to take the spinner and put it on the point you created in your image. You can go over there. Now, if I tried to draw an arc out here, it wouldn't be helpful. We want it to intersect here somewhere. So I'm going to turn it and draw just a little piece of an arc. That creates a point. And we're going to connect that to the end point, which makes the new ray. And now this angle and this angle are congruent. So I'm going to use the geometry marking to mark them congruent. You don't have to have that on yours, but you know, I'm going to. All right, we're going to flip the paper over and I'm going to show you a couple more times the same thing. So we need to construct an angle congruent to this angle or copy this angle. I messed up when I made the paper, so I'm just going to do it really close so I don't run off the paper. So we drew the new bottom, the new segment, and then I'm going to draw the arc on the given angle. Now we want the same arc on the new angle, so I'm going to put it on the end point and draw the same arc. Make sure it goes far because obviously this is an obtuse angle. Then we need to measure the given angle from here to here. So I'm going to open my slider, the spinner on one, and the hole on the other, like that. That measures it. And then I'm going to put this on the point we created over here and swoop it around because all I want is for it to cross just a little bit over there. That gives us a new point which we can connect to the end point and that will create the other ray for this angle. And those angles are congruent. And again, we need to be able to do that on a picture that has more than just one angle. So we're focused on angle B, C, A. That's what it looks like. You need a new segment. It doesn't matter which direction. So there's my new segment. I'm going to put my spinner on point C. I need to close it because if I don't close it from where it is, it's not going to hit segment B, C. So I'm going to close it so I know it will and draw an arc. We need to go over here. I'm going to do it on this side just to show you it doesn't matter. Same arc. I didn't change my radius. Now I need to measure from here to here the two points we created to see how wide the arc is. So spinner on one, slider on the other, and I'm going to move it over to the point that we created right here. And I want to draw an arc that's going to intersect with the one I already have and then connect that point to the end point. And these angles are congruent. And one more. I'm going to again turn my paper because I don't like to work upside down. I'll draw a new bottom to my angle. Just using the ruler. I need to draw an arc on my original angle and the same arc. 
on my new angle. You should be good by now. So if you can do it on your own, you don't really need to watch this. Um, I need to measure the original angle opening. And then I need to recreate that down here on the new one. So spinner on the point, intersect. There's our point to connect to. And it's done. All right, so if you still are confused, you can go back, rewind, and then replay. You can do step by step, or you can read the directions on the front. I hope that that helped. Bye. That was yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, got to do another one. Oops, stop. I, I didn't even stop the one I was doing.